boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Can't Wait Wednesdays here on the KB Radio Network. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Thank you for taking a little time off from your family and friends and football and eating to join me today on this episode of Can't Wait Wednesdays. I, I'm pretty sure everybody is busy with their with their eating and football, and family, and all that good stuff, but you took a little time out to listen to this idiot, and I appreciate it, and, and I thank you for it, uh, but we have a lot coming out this week, a lot. I know you're with family and friends and stuff, and you probably don't know what else to do. <laughs> you're probably bored out your mind, everybody's sitting around the house, don't know what the, uh, should we go here, should we do this, should we do that? Well, we have some films. We have some stuff that's coming out on streaming that you probably can sit at home and watch. There's a lot you can do as far as movies and TV shows are concerned. All that other entertainment stuff that y'all like to do, I, that's on you. I can't help you that. But Hollywood made sure that we wouldn't get bored this weekend. Here we go. It's so much. Let's jump right into it. First off the bat, it's a Disney tradition. Every year, they release a new animated film around Thanksgiving, and this year is no different. And this year, we are getting Disney's Strange World. Strange World is a computer-animated science fiction action-adventure film, and it has the voice talents of Jake Gyllenhaal, Dennis Quaid, Gabrielle Union, and Lucy Liu. And it's... It's about a family of explorers who must set aside their differences as they embark in this mysterious planet that's inhabited by uh, surreal life forms. So uh, it's the perfect Thanksgiving film. (laughs) Perfect because we all, if you have breath, you all have family and we all don't see eye to eye with everybody in our family. And we got to set differences aside, especially for Thanksgiving when we all come together and, you know, for those couple of hours, you know, we got to kind of bury, bury some hatchets and (laughs) hopefully not in nobody's skull, but we we just got to bury the hatchet and act like we like each other for uh, two or three hours (laughs) when we're together. But, you know, it's the perfect little Thanksgiving film, I guess you could say. Um, It looks interesting. The, The animation looks beautiful, if anything else. Uh, so, hey, it's worth a look-see. And it's available right now in theaters. It's released today, November the 23rd, Disney's Strange World. Speaking of strange, this is a film, I I would say, okay, I don't know why they're releasing this on Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know why they're releasing this. Um, (laughs) this looks more of a a horror film. It it, Actually, it is quasi a horror film. But it's, it just looks weird going by the promotional material. I don't know anything about this. This film is based on a book, a novel. And the first time I saw the trailer, I'm like, oh, okay, it's a horror movie. And then it went into this weird romantic coming of age story. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what is this? But it has my interest. The film is Bones and All. And it stars Taylor Russell and Timothy Chalamet. And that's what really has my uh, uh, ears ears perked up because of Timothy Chalamet. T- Timothy Chalamet can do no wrong in my eyes. He is an amazing actor. And every film that he's in, I'm intrigued by. Not to say I enjoy every film that he's been in, but I've enjoyed him in every film <laughs> that he's been in. And uh, yeah, this, this movie is a coming of age romantic horror road film. And that's how it's described. And the story the story is uh it follows a pair of young cannibalistic lovers who flee together on a road trip. That's the synopsis. Now, I don't know I don't know anything else about it other than the fact that they're cannibals. Now, I saw that much from the trailer. You know that the young lady like she eat somebody and now she goes on a run she meets another cannibal who's played by timothy charlamagne 
and I guess it's Romeo and Juliet or Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know, <laughs> but this looks weird. <laughs> this is a weird looking movie, but it has my interest. <laughs> Nothing that I probably would run to the theater to see. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be a completely honest with you. I'm, I'm not gonna run to the theater to see this, but I will check it out whenever I get the opportunity to check it out. And that is Bones and All, which is available right now in theaters November the twenty third. Our next film is something that we don't have to leave the house for. And that's a good thing. <laughs> and this is something that I know we all can gather around the TV and watch as a family, young, old, whoever. This is the film. Not to say I haven't seen it yet. So I'm, I'm recommending this film, but I haven't seen the movie. It could, it could stink, but it looks like a pure family film that everybody can enjoy. And that is fantasy football, which was going to be available this Friday on Paramount plus and the film stars, Kelly Rowland, Mercy Martin and Omar Hardwick. Yes. Ghost himself from power. And this movie, um, at least the synopsis of this movie is a daughter discovers she can magically control the performance of her football playing father through her video game console. So uh, it looks cute and funny. <laughs> it looks like a funny, interesting little film. The only problem I have with this movie, and, you know, this is a personal thing. I'm not deterring nobody from this, but this is a, this is just a personal thing that I'm dealing with. And it's the fact that the main character, or at least the, uh, the dad, he plays in the NFL, and he plays for a certain team that I can't stand. I'm a New Orleans Saints diehard who that fan. And the main character in here plays for the Atlanta Falcons, a team that I just utterly despise. And <laughs> every time I watch the trailer and I see that logo or I see the red and black, I see them in their stadium and he's doing all these plays, I get upset. And being as dope that this is the Atlanta Falcons, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a scene in there where he's playing against the New Orleans Saints. I'm not 100% certain, but it's, it's a strong possibility. And I'm going to get mad. And I'm going I'm to turn biased. You know, I'm going to start hating the movie for that reason. And I don't want to go there. I, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I want to like this movie. But anywho, I, I, I'm joking. Not really. But I just, <laughs> that's just something that sticks in my crawl. But, that's that's nothing that's minuscule besides that this friday on paramount plus we get fantasy football now here's a film that's going to be available in theaters this friday guys i'm sorry today um november the 23rd this is a movie that was on my radar uh months ago when i saw the trailer and i kind of forgot about it you know, it fell in the back of my mind. And then suddenly my mother brought it to my attention. She saw the trailer and she was excited for it. And she asked me about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it comes out soon. And lo and behold, it comes out today. And so that movie is Devotion. And Devotion looks very interesting. Of course, it has my attention with Jonathan Majors. It's, he stars in this film along with uh, Glenn Powell, who we just recently saw in Top Gun Maverick. And once again, he's uh, portraying a fighter pilot. So I know he can do that job well. So this, <laughs> this isn't much of a stretch for him. But this is going to be a, a, a very interesting film. It's a, it's a film based around the Korean War. And I haven't seen a lot of films dealing with the Korean War. We just saw 50 movies, but <laughs> probably more than that. Uh, about the Vietnam War, we saw movies about World War Two and and one, uh, and countless others: the American Revolution, the Civil War, and everything else. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of films dealing with the Korean War. So, not to say that they don't have any, I just haven't seen it. 
and this definitely looks intriguing plus it's based on a true story and you can't go wrong with that if you do it right but the premise is the true story revolves around elite fighter pilots jesse brown and tom hubner who become the u.s navy's most celebrated wingmen during the korean war once again it stars jonathan majors and glenn prow along with uh joe jonas is in this movie and this looks like a very uh heart tugging type story i mean not not like a you know a sappy you know friendship story or nothing like that it's going to deal with race of course it is going to deal with uh friendship and we have some cool looking war scenes here some dog fights with these uh, uh planes and stuff so it looks like it's going to be good and hey it got my mom interested so if they, <laughs> if she if her ears perk up it you have my attention so this looks real good um i'm very excited for it devotion is available right now in theaters today and i, I plan to check that out probably gonna bring her to see um our next film well actually this is a tv show that's on hulu and actually it started yesterday so we behind the eight ball on this one but i just wanted to throw this in here because hey you might want to check it out <laughs> it's something you might want to check out it, it looks it looks interesting and it's welcome to chippendales and for those of you who don't know what the chippendales are they're male dancers or strippers i don't know what they are <laughs> i don't know i never went to a chippendale show for reason so <laughs> but this is the true story of the founder of chippendales and um it is an eight episode series that is on hulu and uh the first two episodes dropped yesterday and it stars camille nahanji who we all know from the big sick and uh eternals and many 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 other films but he is uh starring as the founder of chippendales in this show so hey it's worth a look see um i'm not a chipping chippendales guy but <laughs> Uh, but I'm a sucker for a good show. So I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it a try. I'll check out these first two episodes and see how we go from there. As well as you can check out the first two episodes available right now on Hulu. Our next film is available in theaters. And this is a film that is near and dear to me. Being as though I am a huge fan of this director. This is one of my favorite directors of all time and a lot of people's favorite director of all time. And that is Steven Spielberg. And he's essentially has made a film based on his childhood and it is the Fablemans. And it is a semi autobiographical film loosely based on his life as, um, and his first years as a director. It is told through the eyes of his, you know him <laughs> so i'm I'm interested in that especially growing up spielberg what's the man man i mean come on jaws raiders <laughs> you know all the indiana jones films uh, uh et you know all the films he produced uh back to the futures and gremlins and poltergeist and all, the, all that's my childhood steven spielberg helped raise me <laughs> There was Theodore, Ollie, and Steven. Those, those, those are the people that raised me as a kid. And Steven Spielberg, um, who he's essentially who got me into movies, you know. So, um, to see his story told kind of semi autobiographical, it's interesting, and I, I'm 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 excited for that. And you know, I, I'm a type I would love to see what drove him to become what he is now and this is the story based on it and he dedicated this film to his real life parents and um you know it look it this looks like oscar bait <laughs> this look like a film that's going straight to the academy awards and i mean that's fine if it's good you know if it deserves it if it's worthy <laughs> so we shall see 
uh the fablemans is available in theaters today november the 23rd and that leads us to our last can't wait of this week and it is a holiday special timely being as though it's a holiday weekend but this is a christmas special y'all remember i want to say Ooh, I don't even know if I was conscious of it. I, I know I was around. I remember it coming on or if it was a replay or something. I can't, I can't remember, but I remember watching the uh, Star Wars holiday special. It, it, it was, it was horrible. And <laughs> that's when we got introduced to the Ewoks and we saw that Chewbacca had a family and he went home to celebrate Christmas with his family. It, it was the dumbest thing. I, <laughs> now, back then, it was awesome because you got to see Han Solo and, and, and Luke Skywalker and all that stuff, but on TV. But now that I'm older and a lot of people are older now because it was aimed for kids, of course. But you older now and you go back and you look at that, if you can find it on YouTube or something somewhere, it is horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. But we getting another one in the same vein. And this looks so amazing. It looks like it fits right into this franchise. And it is from Marvel Studios, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. And I am over the moon excited for this. I am so excited for this. Now, this is out of the continuity, in a sense. This is not leading up to this big, uh, in game level event or nothing like that. This is just its own one off, I guess you can say, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If not, the Guardians of the Galaxy little universe that is set up. Um, this special is directed by and written by James Gunn, who recently came out and said he wrote the screenplay for this special in a couple of hours. That is crazy to me because I've been trying to write a screenplay. For the past 35 years, <laughs> I cannot, it, it's a struggle for me. It is for him to write something in a couple of hours really, really puts my life in perspective. But in any event, he's returning for this as well as the uh, cast, Chris Pratt, Dave Bautista, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper, Catherine Gilligan, and many, many more. And this looks cute and fun. And I'm all here for it. Yeah, just in time for the Christmas season, we are getting the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special available on Disney Plus this Friday. So uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot coming out this week. So we have no excuse concerning, you know, I don't know what to watch this weekend with the family or... If you want to get away from the family, they're getting on your nerves and you want to sneak off for a couple of hours, you have a, a plethora of choices to choose from <laughs> this weekend. Uh, to recap, you have Disney's Strange World, which is available Wednesday in theaters. Bones and All, also in theaters uh, today. Uh, Fantasy Football, available on Paramount Plus this Friday. Devotion, available in theaters today. Welcome to Chippendale, available now. First two episodes on Hulu. The Fablemans, available in theaters today. And this Friday on Disney Plus, you have the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Everybody, I hope you all enjoy your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. My thanks that I want to give this year, I thank you. I thank all of you who are continually supporting this show. You have no idea how much love I have for all of you. You know, when I started this, I thought, okay, I'll do this just to keep my mind occupied without going crazy, <laughs> you know, because my anxiety is, is through the roof. And this was a, a way for me to talk and not worry my wife half to death all the time. Um, <laughs> so I worry y'all to death all half the time, but I really initially set out 
I don't see yeah, maybe, maybe about five or six people will listen to this show, but it's been much more than that. And I've reached people all around the world. You know, I have listeners everywhere. And it's it's I still get choked up when I think about that. You know, <laughs> to get people on the other side of the world listening to me talk about movies. And I thank all of you for continuing to support this show and show me love and I love all of you. That's what I'm thankful for. Not just on Thanksgiving, but every single day. So everybody, once again, enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your family and your friends. Rest up for this holiday season because it's going to be crazy bananas like every holiday season. (laughs) But until next time, I want you all to know that I love you. Continue to love one another. And until we speak again, Happy Thanksgiving, and you all be blessed.